first guest is Shane Bannon, fullback, H-back for the Bulldogs and uh, out of Southbury, Connecticut, not too far away from here. And Shane, it's good to have you here. Thank you very much. We appreciate uh, being here first week. It's awesome. Work the kinks out, but yeah, why not? You right. had a few, you had a few, it's actually a fitting thing because you had a few kinks to work out yourself. I mean, there was some thought this year as to whether you'd even be playing. Yeah, um, middle of the summer, actually, I decided that I was going to redshirt, and then uh, I was here all summer working out really hard, and I was, you know, talking to the coaches and talking to Ammo, and started feeling really, really good physically, so I couldn't really deny that, you know, I, I was just so excited to get back on the field that I just you know, couldn't. You guys, I mean, have been practicing in camp since about August 19th, I think, is when it started, and here we are, it's September 13th, so almost a month, and you ready to play Georgetown? Oh uh, yeah, really excited. Um, it was actually pretty tough practicing last week um, after the Union scrimmage. Um, gameless weeks are really tough, and it was hard to keep focused, but the um, team did a really, really good job every day in practice, and uh, coaches got us really inspired. Um, been watching some game film, and uh, really excited to get, that, get out there and play Georgetown. What's it like coming to Yale from a place so close by as Southbury? Um, it's interesting. Uh, you know, it's really nice to have my family around, and uh, I have a lot of friends that come to games and stuff. But, uh, you know, football keeps me really busy, so I don't really go home that much more often than anyone else. And I've lived here the last three summers, um, you know, going home on weekends here and there. But I've actually probably spent more time in New Haven than most of the guys on the team. Were there other schools that you looked at when you were doing the college process, or did you always know you wanted to be here since it, you were worried close? Um, I mean, pretty much, I, I mean, I had talked to a lot of schools, but when, uh, Larry Ciotti started recruiting me here. Uh, I mean, I knew that I wanted to come here, so I got really, really excited after coming here to uh, camp. And uh, I mean, as soon as they put me through admissions and gave me my likely letter, I was, you know, very like dead set on coming here. Really excited. Your first three seasons, really three very different seasons: uh, 2007, 2008, 2009. All different, you know, feelings for the Bulldogs. How are you feeling going into this year compared to maybe some past years? Um. Um, I'm, I'm actually like more excited this year to play than I've ever played than any year ever, including high school. Um, uh, I hope to get the ball a lot more, um, play an H, -bot, H back and tight end. This is the first time I've ever put my hand in the ground um, at tight end. I've never really gone blocked off the line or anything like that. Um, even last year, um, being with a new tight ends coach for the first time, I hadn't, I hadn't even have done that. So now going out of the backfield, out of the slot, from the line in the wing, it's, it's pretty fun. And uh, the fact that they're letting me be that versatile is really just great. You've shown a lot of uh, different looks on the offense. I think everyone's excited about the offense, being back to the spring game. Even the end of last year, moving the ball has not been a problem for this offensive group. It's got to be exciting going into the start of a season. I, th I think not to diminish any opponents, but you know, even though Georgetown is 2-0, teams have put the ball through the air pretty well against them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think that our offensive package looks really, really strong right now. And uh, Pat's been throwing the ball really well. We've had really, really good pass pro with the offensive line. So everyone feels pretty good about moving the ball on anyone. And, uh, you know, as Coach says, like, everyone's nameless and faceless. We don't really care who we're going against. We're going to, you know, run the ball, pass the ball, do whatever we need to do to get down the field. It's got, you know, there's going to be times where there's a lot of, uh, you know, Southern Connecticut people in that backfield. If you're in there at the same time as Alex Thomas. Yeah, um, he seems to have really worked hard in the offseason, too. Yeah, I, I mean, it, if anyone comes out in the season, they're going to notice a huge difference. He's put on about 20 pounds of really good weight. He looks really solid, and he's running really hard, hitting the holes really hard. And it's kind of like everyone's been saying, it looks like, it looks like he was in high school again, just you know, running all over everyone. And uh, I'm excited to watch him grow as a player even more this year. Talking about some of the facilities here at Yale, we've talked in the past about the Yale Bowl, and it's been restored and renovated, and now this year, uh, the Kenny Center is in use for the full season, and also the new locker room. I know is pretty exciting mm -hmm. for you guys. Oh uh, yeah, the Kenny. I mean, the Kenny Center uh, was great last year. We got to start using it. Um, much bigger, uh, a much better facility than our tent from the year prior. But uh, the Kenny Center is great. Our new locker room is unbelievable. Uh, being together last year, coach got us all together in one locker room, which was the first time that had ever happened in Yale football. Um, and now with our new facility, we got all new wooden lockers and. Everyone's really excited about it, and it's nice to have uh, you know comparable facilities to anyone else in the country. Has it been tough watching college football the last two Saturdays and not being able to yeah, play yourself? Yeah, extremely, extremely hard. Um, even more so now, pro football being on so much football all the time, but gets you just more and more excited, and you know it makes going out to practice more and more fun because you know you see teams run similar plays and stuff, and say, oh, like you know that could work, and you could start comparing yourself to other some great programs. As a player, do you pay any attention or care at all, or take note of where? Yale's picked in like the preseason polls. Does that interest you at all? I honest, I'm, I didn't even see it this year, to be honest. Uh, I mean, 
I hope they pick us last just because, I, I mean, I'd love to just make everyone look bad. But, uh, you know, that doesn't really matter to me. Plan on winning every game and no one's, I mean, I don't know why let anyone stop that. It's funny because Yale was picked fourth for the record in the, in the Ivy League and when Carm Cosa heard that, he said, that's exactly where I like to be picked because you're not too low so the confidence doesn't go down, but he hated to be picked first and yeah. he had a pretty good record, I'd say. So Absolutely. he still trust his judgment on that. Definitely. All right. Um, well, Shane, I, thank you for joining us and I'm sure we'll be talking to you as the season goes on, but uh, good luck and glad to see you're going to be out there on the field. Thank you very much. All right. That's Shane Bannon. And as we continue from Maurice, you know, the new Temple Bar, happy hours from four to seven. They've got outdoor dining on their new patio. They've got five private rooms for 10 to 30 people. We're in one of those private rooms as we do this show. It's great for social, corporate, and meetings. And come out to the new Maury's. It's on York Street, right near Toad's Place in York Side, right close to there. Check out Maury's. They've really done a nice job. It's very uh, casual and, and friendly while still maintaining the, the old Maury's charm.